Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. I am going to be uh, fixing a fan today. So even in a time of fitan, you should try to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even when things are hard, still you worship Allah. Still you make time for your prayer. Still you make time to read your Quran. So I took this motor here apart, and I found a wire that was off of it, and I resoldered that back on. So now we're going to take this and see if it won't fit fit in it here and see if it'll work for us without without blowing the fuses, right? Now, would you hear in the background? I am watching a video, but I don't. I don't approve of everything that the teacher is saying. There's a lot of things that he is wrong about. I just like to. I just like to be aware of my sheep of what they're believing and what they are following and what they have been taught. You understand what I'm saying, everyone? I like to be aware of what my sheep have been doing. Right? You understand that, don't you? Okay. Now I have two wires here that are extra. I have the ground. This is a ground wire. I know that. I might not need the ground though. If if I don't need these and I have a hot right here, the red is a hot. The blue could be a speed level. Black is negative. Blue is a speed level. This yellow is also another speed level. But I don't know what this white one is, will do here. This has got to be a speed level as well. So we're going to try it. So I have to go. Let me grab a wire uh, cord first. Hang on. I'll be back. Okay, so I have a cord here. Really long one, too. I got a good long one. And it has a, a built in surge breaker already on it. Just in case, you know, it'll go out before I blow a fuse. If it even blows a fuse, shouldn't blow a fuse. You command what is good. And you forbid what is evil if you believe in Allah. So telling people to do what is good and stopping people from doing what is evil. Correcting yourself. So back here in the back, here is the cord here. So that it is not for me to plug it in. Turn that off. Hang on, let me get something. Okay. So I had, I want to stop right here. I, we will get to it. I, I, I heard something this man said, and I'm going to correct it because this is very, very foul and it needs to be corrected right now. Okay. So let's do that and correct this guy. All right. This is what he said. And this is one of the things that we have to stop happening to us if we want to be safe from the fitna at the end of times. Because in reality... You're already in the fitna. First of all, you're already in a fitna. Everybody is in a great deception. You think you're waiting for it. That's the Muslim problem. You're, you think you're waiting for a fitna. You're already in fitna. 
That's why it's going to be so easy for the Dajjal and the Antichrist movement to sweep through everybody because we're already in it. Fitna, right? Watch. For those who follow the Dajjal, primarily they are al Yahud and Nasara. Why? Because as for the Jews, they rejected Isa and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they're waiting for their Messiah to come. Now that I agree with. So the Jews who are waiting for a Messiah, those Jews, they're bad. There are some that are not waiting for a Messiah though, Imam. Don't lie to the rest of your flock by saying foul things like that because that creates wars and problems saying that, uh, let's say I'm a Muslim, I see a Jew person. Let's say that Jew person doesn't believe, in, they believe in Isa. They say he's a Messiah. They don't know why these Jews are waiting. You understand? But because of what you say, you're teaching all your flock. Now your flock sees a Jew, any Jew, it doesn't matter. Now it's hate. Because you're not speaking correct. You're not speaking proper. And then you're going to say this about the Christian. Watch this. And as for the Christians, they rejected Muhammad Sallallahu and they're waiting for the return of Isa. But when... Wait a minute. It's not that they reject Muhammad. Muhammad did not come to them. Muhammad came to his flock, his fold, which is Ishmael. And in that season, you were given your book to help you guide it along the way in the fitna. So you have to understand that it would have been a lot worse had you not had the book. You understand? Because, you know, in the manipulation of books, they have to have some good in it. Because if it's a book full of evil, who's going to follow it? So there's going to be some good and some evil within everyone's book because shaitan has mingled himself in the seed of the word of God. You understand that? So when you say that the Christian is going to follow, let's listen. And they're waiting for their Messiah to come. And as for the Christians, they rejected Muhammad and they're waiting for the return of Isa. So we're waiting for the, the, the Christian waiting for the return of Isa. He say, yes, but they did not reject Muhammad because Isa is number one. No, Isa is greater than Muhammad. The Christian don't need Muhammad. You as an Arab, as an Ishmaelite, you need Muhammad because Isa was sent to the, the children of Israel. I am not sent, but to the house of Israel. And that house consists of Jews and Christians and Gentiles. Now, your house of Ishmael, your is Islam. We don't need your, your prophet in our word because your prophet is going to point to Isa anyway. And if it doesn't, then you're in the error. Everything points to the light and you'll be in error. So when you say that the Christian as rejected of Muhammad, we don't need Muhammad. I have not rejected Muhammad. I believe Muhammad's a prophet. I believe that your book it was given to your people. I believe all of these things because had not it been given, who knows what Ishmaelites would be like now. Maybe you'd be savages. Maybe you'd be eating each other. Maybe you'd practice cannibalism for all we fucking know. So it's good that you had that. At least it gave you some kind of guidance in our generational period. Then you say this. The Dajjal comes. What is he going to tell people? I am that Messiah. The... So he thinks that the Christians, see, because this is why it's so important to know everyone's religion. I know everybody's. That's why I am who I am. And this is why it's so important for an imam to understand Christianity before you go speaking up against Christianity. Just like for me, I understand Islam. That's why I speak. When I speak, I speak about the Islamic stuff and I use your words because I'm well versed in it even though I don't practice it. And I'm well versed in the Christian book, but I don't practice that either. I don't practice any of them, but I'm well versed. Right? I get so frustrated sometimes. Um, so here he's he going to say this. And as for the Christians... Because he doesn't know about the Christian. Rejected Muhammad Sallallahu and they're waiting for the return of Isa. But when the Dajjal comes, what is he going to tell people? I am that Messiah. That he is that person who came. He is that prophet the Jews are waiting for. And 
Okay, so even if he says, even if the Dajjal comes around, says these type of things, even this, and it's not Dajjal, it's false prophet, get it straight. Dajjal is a movement. It's the digital movement that will bring about Gog and Magog in later days, okay? The Antichrist, according to the Christian book, the Antichrist is the same thing as the Dajjal, okay, Muslim? Antichrist is the same thing as Dajjal. So when the Christian knows that an Antichrist is going to rise up and we see a Jew who claims he's a Messiah, we're not going to follow him. Get it straight, Imam. Why are you teaching your sheep that another flock is going to follow them? Or this, this foul Antichrist? No, some will, some won't. Just like in the Muslims, some will follow Dajjal, some won't. Just like the Jews, some will follow the Messiah Antichrist, some won't. The false prophet. All right? Those who believe and and know their God, like I'm teach, teaching, we unite together. We don't come in the name, I'm an Islam, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Hindu. No, we don't come like that. Because we have now a greater truth. And now we united together as brothers and sisters, as children of God, and we can look out upon the world and say, there's the Dajjal, there's the Antichrist. Look, Muslim. Look, Christian. Look, Buddhist. Look, Hindu. There he is. You understand? Because the people who believe in God, the people who know God, those that God have saved, he guides. He shows the way. He shows the truth. So I don't like that you said that uh, about that. That's very wrong. He said a lot of things wrong in this book, uh, in this video here. But when he said this, I had to stop him because that creates, that creates hate. Stop, stop that shit. We're trying to create love. We're trying to unite people, not, not separate people. We're trying to unite under one truth, one word, one God, one spirit, one begotten, spoken son, gift to Miriam, word of Allah. Come on, man. Why are you fucking around? Why are you trying to fight fight against God, trying to spread that nonsense around? You need to get well-versed in your books before you go around teaching. That's what I say. These guys, they go to school, they get their little certificates, and all of a sudden they think they're so wise. Me, I don't have a school certificate. They'll ask me, where's your certificate? What school did you go to? Uh, I don't have one. I didn't go. You're not the mom. You're not the mom. Get out of here. You're deceiving us. Oh, no, no. That's what they'll say to me. They're already saying it. You understand? They already say that stuff to me. But I don't. I'm not worried. Like I said, I'm not worried about that. People always say, do something, do something. I'm like, I wait for God. God, God is in control here, man. I'm in no fucking hurry. When it, when the time is ready, God will do what He does, and it's and and no matter like I say, if if I tried to jump the gun, no matter what I fucking do or say, it's not gonna change your heart or your mind until God does it. That's why I'm in no fucking hurry. I wait for God, man. That's where that's where you guys need to understand that. You got to understand that. Okay, so red line. I'm gonna say the red, the red line one is the negative. I hope. Sometimes it's positive. I'm hoping it's not. We shall see though if this turns on or if it sparks and blows all my lights out. <laughs> we will see, won't we? Put that right there. I don't want that to touch nothing. No metal. Just yet. Until I know that it's working. Here it is right there. So we can see if that's going to spin when I plug it in and turn it on. Make sure no wires are touching. Nothing is touching. Okay. If I don't get any juice, then it means that one, that yellow wire needs to be connected in some manner all right let's give a prayer nope oh, wait might just be this hang on
test that first. All right, no juice to that. So we do need this wire. Has to be hooked up. 